Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Elytraeon Longsword versus the Karasword Decay, and we're going to test out which is truly the best Dragon Longsword in Iceborne right now. So on paper, Elytraeon's Longsword has 0.8% higher EFR, but the Decay has 1.6% more effective element. Now, paper math is fine and all, but how do they stack up against each other over the course of an actual hunt? So to test this, I ran two separate situations. One on the training pole, and once on Rathian's head, in order to determine which is better in an actual hunt. So on the training pole, what I did was a full red spirit gauge combo, using a mod to keep me in red spirit gauge and give us 100% crit in order to be as efficient and accurate as possible. We do a full red spirit combo, and then a R2 draw attack into a Helmbreaker. As you can see, this hits for a total of 2,928 damage with the Elytraeon Longsword. So now let's switch on over to the Decay. For the Decay Longsword, the Red Spirit combo and Helmbreaker combo hits for a grand total of 2,935. Only 7 more damage. This is a damage difference of 0.24% in favor of the QR Decay. So for the test on Rathian, I went in, triple clawed and wall banged in order to get off the tenderize and to get her enraged. I then would do a full red gauge spirit combo on her head while she's in a shock trap, break her head, and then do a helm breaker. For the Alatreon longsword, the red gauge spirit combo hits for 1,285, and the helm breaker hits for 180 per tick, or 1,260 in total. This is not including the stab that launches into the air, this is just the down swinging attack. Now as far as the Decay Longsword goes, the Red Spirit combo hits for 1,270, only 15 less than the Alatreon Longsword, and the Helmbreaker hits for 1 less per tick at 179 for a grand total of 1,253. The damage across both the Red Spirit combo and the Helmbreaker is a difference of 0.8% in favor of Alatreon's Longsword. So as you guys can see, they're practically interchangeable as far as Dragon Week matchups go. You can honestly choose either one and you're going to be just fine. Once again, I'll run past you the set I'm choosing to use for this weapon. It maxes out both Attack Boost and Agitator at level 7 hits 100% crit during enrages on tenderized weak spots, gets health boost 3, peak performance, and crit boost. All around this is a really good longsword, and although it may not be the best raw option, it's very viable to use, especially if you do like the look of this weapon. So that's going to do it for this video guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you found this helpful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you all have a good day, and happy hunting.